All right, we're going to install the power cost monitor. There's two parts to it. The first part is the, the sensors and the transmitter. They're going to go into the breaker box. And the second part is the monitor itself that's going to go inside the house. Let's first look at the breaker box. This is a typical one. The meter's here and feeds into the breaker box. Uh, before you get into a breaker box, you want to take off any jewelry. One, the lid comes up, close that hole, opens it. Let's see. Now we're going to shut off the power before we get into the breaker box. We've asked the owner already if that's okay. They're ready for it. So. We've just shut off the power. Now there's usually a couple screws here that you have to undo to take off the uh, front face. Uh, bring usually a flathead screwdriver with you. Here's the panel inside. And now from the meter, there's usually three main wires that are coming in. One is the neutral, which usually has a, indicated by, uh, it attaches to one of these bus bars on the side. And also it has a white line or white tape on it. The other two are the hot legs. Now they are still hot, so you need to be safe when you're, when you're entering. These are two live lines right here. Now the power monitor itself is very easy to install. It has two clip-on transmitters that easily clip onto each of the wires. And now the first wire is fixed to the box. The second one plugs into either one of the holes that are on the, on the uh, box. Now there's a strip here where we'll pull off the tape. This box is excellent. It's got plenty of room, so we'll find a place to stick up here. Remember, we want to be careful and not bend these wires around because they are, uh, you can't break the components and these wires are very stiff. And there's another thing we want to remove. This piece here, which will activate the battery. And we'll find a place right up here for it. The light. The light here is flashing, which indicates that it's on. And that's it. Now we're going to put the face back on. We want to make sure that we move these sensors out of the way, make sure that they fit. Now this one that plugs in does, is not very tight, so we want to make sure that that is in before we close the box. Okay, now that's all installed. We'll replace the face. Usually the top goes in first, and it usually goes in between uh, two little pieces. to make sure everything's uh, going to fit. You want to be careful that you don't short out any of the wires. This is a very nice box with plenty of room in it. So everything fits nicely behind there. And we'll uh, screw the face back in. And turn our power back on. Close the box. We're done. Now let's go inside and then uh, work on the monitor part of it. <laughs> Recording. All right, now for the second part, we plug in the monitor. Everything comes on. We push the square button and hold it down until it starts flashing, and it should detect the transmitter on the outside. It also asks us to set the clock, so we set that, and it's on a 24-hour clock.
Push up, you set the uh, hours and minutes. And I have to cut it. There we go. And now it's reading. So we are now pulling 1.34 kilowatts at uh, cost, which is in pounds. <coughs> and that's it. I have another happy customer. In the case that the, the transmitter doesn't fit in the box, what you'll have to do is attach a plastic box outside of the main breaker box and run the transmitter uh, there are the sensor wires through the box, through a piece of conduit to the box that's going to hold the transmitter. Now, one of these lines is permanently attached to the transmitter. You'll have to cut that line because obviously you can't run either the clip or the transmitter through the conduit. And then you'll have to plug in uh, two sensors onto both sides of the transmitter. And that's how you can put the wires through the conduit to the box that's going to hold the transmitter. That's good. Critters? Oh yeah, another thing you want to watch out of is uh, when you open up a box, a lot of times there can be some critters living behind it. Snakes, insects, wasps. You always want to watch out for that. You can examine the box from the outside, see if there's things that's in it. You can never tell, so just be careful when you're opening up a power box.